so within the next seven minutes i will create something i have this only cube so let's create it s z and scale it along the z axis then add one loop cut at there control v to add the bevel on it add one segment bevel and then select this face and e to extrude it along the z axis in this way then add a loop cut like this i'm going to select this edge and then control x to dissolve this and then create a slope like this so press f to fill the gap and then you can delete the faces like this and then select this and then press f to fill the gap by the way if i want to do this i can do with another way also okay then then i'm going to select these words and then move them that's like this little bit close and take the symmetry along the axis let's look fine okay so then i can scale it along the x axis and then i'm going to add the loop cuts so i'll add two loop cuts then add one loop cut like this one loop cut like this and then i can select this each loops and then control b add a bevel on them and just create a curve shape add there as like this maybe all this and then you can select these faces press i for the insert operation then e to extrude it and this scale it down make sure your individual origin should be on and then scale it down and then move it a little bit along the x-axis and then take it inside as like this and then delete the faces basically we want to reach loop from the both side then just select these faces press i for the insert operation then use the insert operation one more time and then extrude it like this And now I will take the symmetry. Just to bridge each loops. I will join these cuts. And now I will add the loop cuts, supporting loop cuts to maintain the design. Something like this I have created and just I will refine it. By the way, we have finished our time but then also I am adding this. I want to work on it. and now control 2 to add the sub d modifier on it but as i add the sub d modifier i'm getting this pinching and weird effect and why does this happen shade smooth it i need to check the face orientation you can see we have the wrong face orientation at here so select everything and then press alt n and then recalculate outside now we have the right face orientation and you can see that's look good
in the seven minutes we have got something like this we can work on it to find out something interesting design out of it just we need to spend little bit more time to refine the design out of this easily we have created this kind of simple looking design that block out so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye so next video take care